Welcome to Valheim. All right. Hey. <laughs> Tip number one. <laughs> Watch your back. <laughs> These streets are serious. <laughs> All right, tip number one walk me, is how walk to holster through, your weapons. Walk me through the tips as if I'm a child. Okay. Um, so just like normal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the deal with your gear, you can have a shield and a weapon out at the same time, right? But let's say you switch to something else, right? It puts the shield up. Man, I hate when you that You can happens. hit R to holster, quote unquote, whatever you're holding, and it just puts it on your back. And if you're holding a shield and a weapon, it puts them both on your back. And then hitting R again brings them both out. So it feels minor, but it's a lot less annoying than having to hit a hot key for your weapon and your shield when you end up in combat. So let's say I'm running along and these stupid little necks <laughs> want to start something. Now we're ready to roll. Get busted. And I, did, I didn't block. Like, he hit me anyway, but you, you get the idea. And now they're dead. Oh, you squares out there who want to auto-run. It's as easy as Q. Uh, so yeah, free look and then right mouse click will let you guide yourself. And you can, you can sprint. Look at that. Yeah. You can also just hold right click and look <laughs> and steer. Hey, if you don't want camera shake. How do I turn yes. off camera shake? If you don't, if you don't want camera shake on, you hit escape and you go into your settings. And one would think. It would be in the graphics tab with the yeah, bloom I'm a, and the motion blur, right? Yeah, I'm going to look there. One would be wrong. It's in the miscellaneous tab. Camera uh, shake. Oh, where it should be. Okay. Yeah, Camera turn shake. it off there. And one more tip, too. Uh, back in the graphics tab, if your full screen button is not ticked, tick it. For whatever reason, it doesn't seem to want to do it by default. And uh, you, sh you should be playing in full screen. Let's yeah, be real. If you don't click that, you won't be in full screen. That is true. I have a copper knife, bro. Can you one shot a deer with a knife? Hell yeah. Oh my God. All right. So there's a deer up here and you're going to want to be farming deer because it has something to do with how you summon the first boss. We're not doing any spoilers here, so I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I'm going to crouch up on this deer and I have a knife and sh getting good with the bow can be kind of oh, tough. Oh, to your so, left. There's a bunch. Oh, there is a bunch. Okay. This is bad. We're gonna get we're gonna get gang ganged up on. No, I'm I'm gonna get him. Okay. If you've played so, for you, any amount of time yet, you you know you know <laughs> you're so stealthy over there. <laughs> but so, you know how frustrating right. it can be to kill a deer. Yeah, the the deer, because they run away and you're you're just you're gonna have a real hard time chasing them down. So some things to consider. One, you definitely want to be crouched. A knife does really good sneak damage, so it's best if you have a knife. And if you look at your mini-map, there's a little arrow. We speculated for a long time what that arrow meant, uh, and it's just which way the wind's blowing. So you can also tell by the little wisps of wind on your screen. You want to try to be downwind because that matters in this game. So if the wind's blowing from you to the deer, they'll smell you and run off. But here we're good. So what we're going to do, of course he's turning around to face me now. We're just going to casually... Follow the steer around. Oh man, they're so much. I mean, they're 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 just making a triangle, facing every direction. <laughs> post it up. All right, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna sneak Ooh, up on the yeah. big one here. Don't turn around and look at me. And we're gonna get right up on him and. Bam, oh, right in the blood hole, dude. So yeah, the knife does really good sneak damage, and that's a good way you can do it while you're working on getting good with the bow. <clears throat> Because the bow can be pretty tough. And from here, Acker is going to show you a thing or two about the bow. Well, the deer are gone, so we'll find... We'll find right now, Acker is going to show you about the bow. <laughs> Alright, so just like with a real bow, you're going to have no idea what the F you're doing. So same as with the knife, you're going to want to sneak up, get as close as you can. Hold left mouse click to draw it back. And you're going to want to arch it quite a bit because the drop off is pretty serious. And there Yoink. it is. That's one dead deer. Alright, so one more example of how bad the drop off is with a bow. You can barely see that object right there. It's a boar. We're going to get about right here. 
ski. Yoink! <laughs> so there is some pretty heavy drop off. Uh, just make sure you account for that when you're trying to take out these dudes. Because the deer, once they're gone, once you spook them, this like this dude has not calmed down. Yeah, he's he's tight. All right. Uh, one key aspect to health and stamina is going to be eating. As you can see down here at the bottom left, you're going to have a very tiny bar. You're going to have about 25 health until you consume some food. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, meat is going to give you a pretty good boost. As you can see, 40 health, 30 stamina. Things like mushrooms, berries, raspberries. Uh, this neck tail you can actually cook, which will give you some health and stamina as well. The, the the best combo we have found so far is going to be cooked meat, cooked fish, and like some of these mushrooms. That's going to put you pretty high on the health and stamina. Um, so don't don't forget to stack that stuff because you can't eat more than one thing at a time. What's weird is you can't eat the same thing at the same time. Like you can't stack three fish. That would be insane. I'd love that. One might think that this is just reckless, pointless abuse, but you can't hurt each other oh, if you I don't have up. PvP damage turned on. And you can level up your skills this way if you're playing with a friend. If you're not playing with a friend, <laughs> uh, take your club. <laughs> Just beat strangers. <laughs> Find a rock or something and just beat the rock. And it'll level up. And if you uh, if you hit tab and click on the, uh, the, the little upside down triangle symbol thing, mm. that's your skills. And that's all the things you can level up. So... Punching stuff levels up unarmed. Jumping levels up jumping. Running levels up running, uh, etc. Just call me Forrest Gump. Uh, I can't imagine that I, that I'll ever do that. <laughs> Second only to my wood cutting, which is forty, because I I cut down a whole forest. Call me call me Bunyan. Yeah, <laughs> is that his name? Bunyan, Paul Bunyan. St uh, Steve Bunyan. That's his uncle. <laughs> Steve Bunyan. <laughs> yeah, my running is, is the highest. Jumping is... No, cl okay, clubs. Second only to my um, wood s s swin swindling? Wood swindling? Nice. What's the... My favorite part is, is how helpful all of this is. Uh, you should do like a welcome to my crib. This place is insane, dude. <laughs> Alright, all right, so crafting. Crafting can get a little tricky initially, but... It's not so bad once you get the hang of it. So if you hit tab, you've got your crafting menu, you've got your four basic things you can make. And the hammer is what's going to allow you to do more crafting. So bringing out your hammer, if you right-click and bring up that menu, mm -hmm. you'll notice a lot of stuff is grayed out. Do you see it? I see it. I see it all grayed out. I can't do anything. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> so the reason <laughs> I needed wood... The reason it's grayed out is because you not you're not near a workbench. So now I've placed a workbench. Now you should be able to use it. I can use it. Yeah. Look and that's how you make armor. I can build. Absolutely. Hopefully that saves someone a headache, because that's a little bit to, to get rolling. And another thing is I think it's gonna tempt people to begin building their base from the workbench. You mm -hmm. don't have to do that. Set up a little workstation like this. And then as long as you're in the circle, or as long as you're, yeah, as long as you're in the circle, you can build wherever you want. Start building your base independently of the workbench. I feel like that would stifle creativity quite a bit, trying to begin a build from the workbench. Yeah, and so, I think the, the repair uh, function is really cool, too. I don't think it requires any items, right? Right. Yeah, that's, that's another one. Yeah, just, just make it a this. habit every time you touch it, yep. spam that repair button. Exactly. Man, you've got so much wood. Indeed. <laughs> uh, so I made the mistake of putting my wood in a storage chest, and that, boys and girls, is not a good idea. You can actually make these wood piles, uh, which will take, is it 50? Is that right? Yep. Yeah, 50 pieces of wood and just stack them up here, and then you can come uh, and use that wood as you please. You can do the thing, same thing with stone. Uh, is that it? Just wood and stone? I think I think so. Let's see okay. if there's anything else. So yeah, that'll um, save you space in so your storage. Far. So you don't have to put these things in the storage chest. You can keep them outside and they won't deplete. They won't disappear. Uh, you just have access to all your materials. Maybe there's not enough fires. <laughs> 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 Alright, so one thing you want to make sure you... <coughs> oh god! <laughs> one thing you want to make sure you do is... <laughs> some ventilation in your home because starting a fire can be dangerous stop drop and roll 
kids. Uh, as you can see, this is filling with smoke, and <laughs> Jay Giggs is not doing so well. Uh, so make sure you build some type of chimney shit. ventilation structure to uh, to keep yourself alive, because this is not going to end yeah, well it's for about us. Yeah, it's about to get ugly in here. But what if it rains? I'm not Is my high. question. Heck, I don't know. I still don't even know how you did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's say. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. All right. So we're up here on the on the old old chimney, right? And I'm we're not, gonna I'm build not, it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I get up there. Oh, I have to run. Okay. All right. We're gonna build it one more up. Just. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're going to build it one more up because we don't want to smother our fire. Your chimney has to be, I think, at least three high, but it can be. No. Mm, nailed that. It can be taller, but we're going to get. I actually fell down my chimney doing that one time. Yeah, it's not fun. We've all been there. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll take, let's take a 45 degree pitch. And if I can get it to snap. Oh, God, please do it. There. Nice. Now, when we go in, hopefully the smoke is aired out. Yeah. And we've got ourselves a chimney, and we're getting the resting bonus. So now, we could sleep. And that will stop the rain from coming in. It will. Your fire will stay lit as long as you keep it fueled. And we'll get us a little... uh a little cooking rack over it so we can cook on it. If you if you find that your fire goes out randomly, because that was happening to me earlier, if it's not raining and your fire just randomly goes if out and comes fire, back on... If your fire suffers from incontinence... Uh, sure. That's not the right word. I don't think it is. What's the word I'm looking for? Incompetent. In, no, not incompetent. <laughs> Impotent. Impotent. <laughs> <laughs> so that it just means it's smothered. So it means there's it means your chimney's not tall enough. And I've also read that your cooking station, if it's right over the center, that that could be affecting it somehow. So just a little more to the front, a little more to the back when you're placing the cooking station over the fire, and, and you should be good to go. But if, if your fire's going out randomly and coming back on randomly, it's just because it's smothered. You need to make your chimney taller. Smothered so. and covered. Waffle House, yeet, yeet. <laughs> There you have it. That was okay. Good night. Uh, there you have it. That was a handful of tips and tricks. I don't know how many. We we didn't count it out. But uh, if you have any questions, leave us a comment. And uh, thanks for watching. Jay, anything to say? I hated that outro.